Okay, today is the 13th of October, the second Sunday setup session of the month. We look straight away into the DXY, monitoring the movement is done. Uh, we have seen it ranging into a, a, an uptrend, you could say, with higher highs, higher lows. Um, ultimately, what we did see last week, which was mentioned on our call, was we wanted to see a price push upwards. Um, after we had seen somewhat of a head and shoulders on smaller time frames, we wanted to see price move up before coming down. Um, of course, looking at this minus 61 area as being an area of interest before we do get a, a push back upwards, um, we are looking for price to come down a bit more uh, in order for us to see a nice push up. I mean, you know, as we have now seen the trade, uh, trade talks more, more, more understandable now as of course they have actually had talks you know we have seen feedback we do have some type of information as to what's going on we can of course see a way out for the dollar um the chairman also has spoken on the dollar they are going to provide um financial backing to the dollar uh, they said it's not quantitative easing which is printing out money but they will still be uh, back in the dollar so we should see the dollar actually become stronger uh, throughout this week, um, and that will play into looking at Euro USD. Um, of course, we have seen price come up into a nice area uh, above the 62%, which is our kill zone. And um, price has actually already looked like it is rejecting a uh, 79 um, handle in order for us to actually see price come down into this obvious downtrend. Um, what we do want to look very clearly for is signs of reversals. If we go into smaller time frames, what we can see uh, is price, although we have seen price remain very bullish throughout the end of last week, what we have seen, if I take away this fib, what we have seen, of course, is the uh, areas of liquidities above. They have, of course, been taken out, which has taken quite some time because we was in a very bearish market. Now, of course, we do have another area of interest, which could be above here. Um, four equal highs to be taken out before we see price push down, uh, which does mean, of course, this could just be a high, 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 low, high, 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 low. And then, of course, seeing price pushed up even higher again, uh, taking out the equal highs before we could potentially see a reversal. Um, all that does simply mean, of course, is we do want to keep our ears and eyes open to what the DXY is showing us. The stronger the dollar gets, of course, the weaker the EU will become. Um, so we do want to keep our ears and eyes open to the dollar index, um, to the fundamental news occurring throughout this week. Um, and what I can see is we only really have pound and USD that could be, you know, some of them, oh, sorry, and AUD to be market movers. Um, so going back over to the charts, when we do look at um, the AU, Australian US dollar, what we are looking for is more signs of uh, reversal before we can enter into a buy. I'm quite bullish on this. And of course, uh, in order for us to see a weakened dollar, we of course would want to see a bullish AU. Um, with that being said, of course, um, you know, I am expecting the DXY to gain to regain its strength, and of course, once it does regain its strength, we would be looking, of course, to favour the dollar. Um, so, in that case, we are looking at price coming up to. Um, you know, there are areas of imbalance that are above. There's also institutional candles right in this area where price could react from. So, we do want to wait and see if price either comes back down to this mitigation zone, our famous red box. Or, of course, if price just continues to move upwards, um, fill the areas of imbalance before looking to come down. Um, those are my pairs for the week. I'll be sure to keep you guys informed and updated. Over to you, Ads. Yeah, hi, guys. See my screen. Now, so, um... Yeah, you're good. Oh, cool. Well, yes. Yeah, so way on Friday, I wasn't able to actually look at the charts. Um, and this is obviously with the, uh, I think it was the Canadian employment, if I'm right. Um, there was news, and actually, 
as you can see from my chart right now, it played off the imbalance zone that I had. It hasn't actually filled it. So um, I'm going to be watching this one for a possible, maybe another push back up into that area, maybe to see what happens, um, maybe for a possible sell. Um, we'll just see how the charts play out. Um, this is just on the daily. If I just come down a bit, you get an idea of what I'm looking at. I mean, we could be looking at a buy if maybe this area below here um, gets filled. Um, I'll be looking at possibly entering a buy here, but I'm more favoring the sell up there to see what happens with the um, imbalanced area. Um, that's Australian CAD. There was another one. Um, again, I was away on Friday. I was looking at something here. As you can see, it's played off the imbalance zone. We've got a little reaction, but I do think it's going to come higher for the higher red zone. Um, so I'll be looking at, of course, I can't really see an entry for a buy to get up to there. So I'll be looking again to favour the sell. Um, there's lots of targets below over here. If you can see at my zero on the Fibonacci that um, I believe need to be taken out. So it could be a long term sell. Um, definitely for at least 60 pips. So definitely if we, you know, entry, looking at entry at 63, 600. Definitely down to maybe 63. So I'll be, uh, I'll be watching these tomorrow, seeing how they progress. And um, yeah, they will uh, be called out. Um, yeah, I was looking at a few other pairs, but we was sort of already done there, UDUSD. Um, yeah, this, I don't know what's going next. Going on, guys. Um, I'm just going to quickly run through um, a few pound pairs for you. Um, on Thursday, we did have a, a big, big push on um, most of the pound pairs. With uh, we had fundamental news came out with Boris Johnson um, having um, positive talks with EU representatives. So it pushed the pound up the last two days. So Thursday, Friday was very, very good momentum for the pound. So um, just going off of what we're expecting, uh, we still have equal, equal highs up here that I expect to be taken out after this bullish momentum showing us the direction it is trying to lean towards. Um, and also eventually, I do believe it's, it's trying to get up here before we, that we then see a big reversal for a sell. Um, in the meantime, though, I do expect... Um, us to get a, a, a pullback on these pairs um, in order to continue to move. So uh, just going down to the hour chart, uh, what I have seen is there is a lot of imbalance on the four hour as well. There's a lot of imbalance after it shot up for those two days. So we do we should see a retracement. Um, I am hoping for this swing low and this high we have here. Uh, I am hoping for price to come back to at least, you know, 62%, which would make sense in regards to um, having institutional uh, shorts here and here. So anywhere within these areas, I do expect price to come back towards before actually getting in for the buyer. So um, it is a bit uh, way away. So I am, I'm just going to see how the markets um, open up in regards to if we're going to get that push down or if it's going to consolidate till London session opens uh, in the morning. Um, but that's GU, the same, similar for GA and uh, pound ends of B also. So um, I've noticed with the bullish period we had, uh, it's pushed up and made uh, an attempt to clear the liquidity above, which was actually a gap gap candle that we had here and above this gap candle there is liquidity too so I do think price is trying to get up to those areas before we actually get a big sell um, so judge, judging off of that again if we go to the smaller time frame uh, where price actually started it's run from I'm expecting it to pull back into these areas before getting uh, the push higher so it is a lot of pips. I don't really, if the opportunity is there, I would like to take this opportunity to get in because it doesn't make sense missing out when, you know, you could secure uh, at least 100 pips 
from from each of these uh, pairs that I'm about to show you. So um, I am still bullish on it, but I do expect a retracement. So I'm trying to sell the retracement down in order to then buy up again. Um, so just judging from the momentum we have, I am still bullish on this pair. But you know, when you have that much volume in the market in regards to um, a big move happening with here and then it consolidated and then another push. So I'm expecting a retracement again and then another push higher. So um going to wait to see how the market opens up and play out of that one. GN, practically the same as GA. Um, they do mimic each other a bit. Um, same, similar setup if we're going for the, the smaller time frames, we do start to see that <clears throat> Um, you know, price cleared liquidity and then it immediately started, uh, it stopped making higher highs. It started consolidating a bit and then we actually finally had a push. So um, I am expecting price to retrace to these areas um, in regards for us to buy again. So I don't think it's fully done going up yet because if I show you a higher picture, get rid of that quick. Uh, the higher picture shows uh, that we've got this bit, practically a triple top is made now and uh, wick 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 so price didn't actually close above but it tried to so now that we know that there's a pool of liquidity above uh, what what else fuels the, uh, the trade for us in order for it to push higher is that it has an imbalance um, that has yet to be filled here so I would like to see imbalance filled and then we should get the big short down if we go to the daily. Uh, anywhere from here, really. Um, I'm looking for it to either play off of, play into the imbalance would also be uh, the foot of this last candle here and 50% of this candle here. So I'm aware there is a last shoot up candle, but for me, I believe that the majority of the uh, institutional buy-in was done in these three candles. Um, so I will be looking at the last one of those three as it, that's the one for me that cleared the liquidity. So um, with, with, because we have an imbalance within this last candle, um, I will be taking trades, ooh, excuse me, I will be taking two trades from the foot and the 50% of this candle. Um, so yeah, that's definitely one to watch for. So I am bullish on these pairs, but um, you know, with it forming a triple to the bottom, I do believe we can get a slight pullback before it pushes higher. Um, so yeah, just keep your eye on that, guys, because it's going to take a little while for us to get the big, big sell that we're after. But in the meantime, um, we should be able to catch the little mini moves in between. So. Yeah, that's that's all I've got for today. Yeah, for me, I've been looking at um, Euro Odd um, this weekend, and um, I actually have an um, a trade right now for it. Uh, on the four hour, I'm looking uh, to target um, this area here around 1.63640 and um, I saw on the one hour that um, small money became after the move and I was looking at where we can potentially uh, look for an entry. Uh, my initial initial entry will be around here but um, as the as I saw a break of structure on the uh, smaller time frames I was looking to enter this of this um, yeah purple box which already touched um, so yeah I'm expecting price to go um, from here a little bit higher due to accumulation and um, yeah I will target at least on the 20 um, on it around 140 pips from here um, yeah stop loss will be around 20 pips um, actually and um, yeah, that was it for Euro Art. And I've also got oil for this week.
on the daily I've sold this um, a, a lot earlier at this price. Um, I think that trade was also in one of the previous outlooks. And um, it did tap off this double bottom. And it's now going to look for a um, retracement higher up. And we will, we will get a clear sell from there. So we have to uh, watch this trade very closely. And yeah, I hope that we can get a good entry around this price here or either this. It all depends on the, the small, smaller time frame um, uh, price action. Um, yeah, that was it for me for this week in, um, in regards to the, the Forex pairs. So there will be a lot of setups for us to update you on. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to click the link in our subscription in our bio and subscribe to our Telegram channel. Uh, more importantly, remember, every day is money day.